Uh, okay, so uh, welcome back. In this session, we will extract the algorithmic levels for the OMISGO. Also, uh, I'm happy to share this kind of knowledge, which is uh, the algorithmic level thriving or alg algorithmic levels thriving. If you rely on this kind of, uh, let's say, strategies, you will be closer to success. And your positions, the profitable positions, will be most comparing to the lost one. So uh, the first advice you can use for any market, especially this kind of markets with spot trading, you should get the aerial image or the aerial picture. Okay? Never trade the markets without knowing where are you exactly. So we can start by the four hour chart. We can start by the two hours, maybe less, maybe more. Okay. But trust me, there is uh, nothing will help you if you don't get the real aerial image. So what I mean by aerial image is simply the weekly chart. You should be careful where you have stopped and you should be careful what is your upcoming resistances and also you should be careful where do you set your orders. The most orders or the most profitable orders are at the lows, not at the highs. Also, when you trade the successful breakouts, there is a probability, a big one, that you will or you, your, your chance to achieve uh, success in the market will be higher. So let's, let me show you how you can do that. Uh, today, the high of, of the day, we're at the $3. Okay, so this is where we stopped. This is where the market starts to get some kind of uh, distribution. Okay, but we should first take a look at the weekly chart and extract the lows. Okay, so the low for this week could be at the 2.50. It could be and it could be not because this is a structure point where the market actually stopped. So you cannot rely on the highs, but you should rely on the lows because it's your key to buy again, or you can use it as a key to get out of the market if the price continues their dump, or continue to dump, of course, fragmented or fragmented orders. So uh, this is structure point. Please be careful. And let's move on to the daily chart. And we can say that the, the market today stopped at the $3. This is very important. Okay, this is very important. The market stopped today at the $3. Then we should be uh, careful what to do next. Simply, now we can get rid of the aerial image after we had a clear idea that the market now is at the low and we have a high at the $3. Also, manipulation does exist in cryptocurrencies. You can see that we, we didn't actually touch the moving average, but it's okay. Okay, it's okay. No problem for that. You should always be careful trading the markets at the lows, especially if you get on what we call early long positions. Early long positions means when the market is in, is in let's say, in the red, you get your positions inside it, okay? So like that, for example, let's say the price at, uh, for example, 2.64. So the point 2.64 is an opportunity to get an early long position and you can probably had a chance, but you should never done any uh, early long positions without getting the aerial image, especially if the, you are not close to the support. Okay, so 2.64. 64 actually you can we can say it's a, a scalping uh, level a scalping support and we can get into it uh, some kind of safe but we should be careful because not always early long position can give you an opportunity to success okay we should be careful so this is what happens the market reversed um, a very important advice when you had a let's say a downtrend okay and you can uh, get the downtrend simply by looking at the lows and looking at the highs. So a, a lower highs, okay, and the lower lows means 
simply a downtrend. Okay. Uh, some traders use the trend line actually it works sometimes and sometimes not okay but we can simply rely just by the vision okay by the way we extract the lows and the highs by the vision i think it's uh, i'm sharing my strategy i don't say it's one other person's call but i'm sharing my strategy so uh, here you can see that the markets actually break out the trend but not simply uh, the only way you can use to get the rid of the downtrend. Okay, so when you see a moving average close to your levels, we are at almost the $3 and the, the moving average is pointing at the 3.40. Now go back to the one hour chart and get your positions done. Simply now we can get a position of the buy. Okay, we can buy uh, the omis go, but we should set our stops below the moving average okay below the moving average and where is our targets simply it will be at the next moving average at the 3.22 okay the 3.22 it is uh, i think 10 percent maybe we can achieve 10 percent higher than our uh, current level so uh, as long as we are dealing lower than the structure point and i mean by structure point the high of the day okay so there is an opportunity that the market have or he can have uh, some strong bearish signals and we should be careful but okay we are relying now on the moving average and i think the moving average can have some opportunities or get uh, opportunities for the buyers and people will, will look at the moving average and get the decision to buy. So you should have your decision with the market not against. Okay, not against. So uh, be careful, this is the last support for Omis Go. Okay, uh, you can buy here, but you should get your stops below the structure point here and be careful, the whales and the algorithmic or the algorithmic bots are looking to your stops and they can simply set some uh, lower speaks and then get you out of the market and then buy again. Okay, so please just adjust your stops or you can use it manually if you are, uh, I mean, next to the computer and you, you, don't, you are not busy doing other, other things. So, okay, uh, from this point, let's say we can risk 4% from our account Okay, and we can have 10% if we success or if we succeed. Okay, I think uh, it's a good risk ratio and a good risk management. So we risk 4% from our account to get 10. As long as you have this strategy, so as long as you are risking less than uh, what you are going to profit. Okay, so it's uh, actually a very good uh, strategy. You should optimize your risk ratio each time you can see uh, the market condition change, okay? So let's say, for example, I bought the Omis Go at this lever here, okay, which is the current price. And I thought, or I think that the market can go higher than the $3. So it's okay. But we should, for example, if we see a, a shooting star or the price tried to break higher than $3, then it goes back with some capitulation candle over here, then simply check your position out. Thank you. Do not risk. The minimum risk you have in the market, the minimum success you are a bit closer to. So, okay, now uh, talking about risks, what is the risks actually that exist in the, in the one hour chart? Simply the RSI shows some bearish signal. Okay, there is uh, an overbought here and it is very important to know that the overbought signals can give you an opportunity to get out of the market, losing your money. So uh, please, uh, short selling could be an idea, but I don't think it will be so, uh, so good if you are not actually uh, professional or you will not at least, uh, let's say, committing or being, uh, I don't know if in English, you respect the, the risk ratio, okay? So you should risk what you afford to lose. And if you don't, you should commit, you should at least uh, 
look at the, the screen and look at any level and predict where the market actually can have the next move. If you can do that and you can adjust your risk ratio, trust me, you will be success in the market. So each time you open a position and you buy, you should pledge, okay? You should pledge. Never, never get out of the commitment you have for yourself, okay? So I will risk 5% of my account in order to have 10. This is the true commitment. And if you respect this commitment, you will be a successful trader, okay? Many people in the market simply they bought at any level and then the market goes down and all they have is willing and waiting. Okay, wait, the market will go back. It's okay, but are you an investor or let's say a scalper or a swing trader? So being a swing trader makes you really uh, commit that there is some respects or some rules to respect. Okay, there is some rules to respect. The important rules are the risk ratio, especially the, let's say if you have one out of, the, of two or three out of five, or there is many conditions you can have for the risk management. But being a hypocrite and buy at, as a swing trader, then if, you, if your position goes against what you will, then you say, okay, I will lead it for the, the next maybe decades. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. If you, are, if you are trading like that, you will never make money. You are gambling. You are waiting for the market to give you a chance. Okay, so these guys here are trading against you. So if you want to make money, then respect the risk ratio, respect the money management. Okay, so this is a simple advice. And sorry if I, if I talk a lot, and, uh, but trust me, this is a good advice to respect and to win. So uh, the moving average here, could be a next okay target from the 3.25 let's say to the three and a half okay possible if we break out higher we can go to the 4.15 or the four and a half i don't think for this moment but everything is possible everything is possible there is another scenario okay there is another scenario which is uh, starting an accumulation phase all over $4 to the $3 or the $2, okay? We can have some kind of uh, accumulation phase like that. And then we can break higher than $10. I believe Omisgo is a good uh, altcoin and we can have maybe this, uh, it's, it's an a point of view, it's an opinion, nothing, nothing else, okay? I think this, uh, this guy here can go over the $25, okay? I think. We follow the markets and, uh, you know, nothing is predictable in the markets. We only uh, trade what we see. So uh, another uh, signal here, it, which is the, this kind of pattern here. We have a down candle and some kind of hammer, but we need to wait the closure. Never judge the candle before the closure. Okay, so if we, clo if we close like that, we can have another bullish, maybe another bullish candle and can give us an opportunity to trade what we call the morning star okay the morning star pattern it's very strong and very powerful but trust me in spot trading you should predict okay the pattern before it could be created or before it's it appears in the charts so maybe we can have let's say for example this candle here and another reversal candle and another bullish one then we can hit the five dollar then the market starts another uh, distribution because they know you are trading the morning star. So just uh, let's say sharing knowledge, it's just my point of view. 
So if we uh, close like that, okay, if we close like that, we break today, this, uh, the, the high, which is the $3, I think we can have in the, the next future, we can have some more bullish signals. So please be careful. Okay, be careful. Uh, the, this is the structure points. This is all I can have for you. If we close higher, then the moving average will be your next target. And then we can get the red out of this downtrend, which makes the people scary and make them frightened to buy Omis Go and hold this maybe. So this is it. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for listening to my session. Uh, maybe we can talk about uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum because I believe the Gatli pattern has done its targets and we can see what we can do next. Okay, let me show you. Okay, let me show you what I mean by the Gatli. It's some important harmonic pattern. Okay, it is some important harmonic pattern and we should get it read. Be careful trading this harmonic pattern here. Okay, this is it. This is the points X, A, and this is A, B, C, and D. Okay, I think we, uh, we are now uh, about to, uh, to close below the $10,000 $10, and we can have another bearish signal maybe. So uh, see you guys in the next session. We will discuss these important things together. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you agree with me. Dislike button, of course, if you disagree. And thank you very much for uh, leaving a comment, sharing your knowledge, sharing your experience. What do you think about what I have said during this video? Thank you very much. See you later.